This represents your market. Now that could be a geographical patch, but it could also be a business sector. What we're looking at in this gravity animation is how you affect that market to generate sales. And now onto this market, we're gonna layer on the key people within it, starting of course, with you. A market is the people within it. So who else is in this market? It's customers, competitors, maybe colleagues, all getting on with their own business. Now I'm sure everyone watching this would like to describe themselves as an active member of that market, moving around, meeting one customer at a time, making sales. But when you look at the market in this way, when you examine the animation, you can see something very, very clearly, that most of the market is carrying on without you. People are talking about the market, they're having meetings. You know, maybe a market is the conversations that are going on within it. But do you know what those conversations are? Are they a hook that you can use? Even better, are those conversations about you and your personal brand? What are your customers saying to each other? And are you being recommended by your customers, gaining easy referrals? Are people talking about you at network meetings? Maybe, maybe not. Have you made it easy for them to talk about you? Maybe, maybe not. You're still dashing about here, there, everywhere, trying to touch as many of those other market people as possible. But of course, you can never be everywhere. When you see yourself dashing around like that, not being able to be everywhere at once, it becomes clear a new way is needed. It's obvious that if you could affect the market, distort it in some way, you could reach more people, your influence would spread. And in the long term, that's got to be faster and easier. If you do that, then people are going to be drawn to you. You don't need to spend all your time chasing them, chasing business. Customers will come to you rather than you constantly having to seek them out at exactly the right time. Your gravitational field, if you like, is ready to catch them as soon as they are ready for your product or service. That's going to mean a full diary and beyond that, a diary full of the highest value meetings. And another benefit, colleagues from across the business are also going to be drawn towards you. And as they're drawn towards you, they're going to add still further to your gravitational pull. In fact, it's the best way to gain gravity and distort the market even more. That's working together. But it's also great news for your career options because the wider business is going to see what you're doing as well, the good work that you're doing. Let's just pause for a minute and think about whose job this is. Because even if we agree with the gravity model, we may see it as something that should be done centrally, not something to do ourselves, but centralized gravity, which you might even want to call marketing, is about creating the broadest type of awareness. So each advert and mail shot does help, but it's really unfocused. And of course, it's not based around what you're trying to do. The best it can hope for is to cause a kind of a disturbance a disturbance that you might be able to benefit from and use as a hook or as an idea to take further personally. But creating gravity itself, creating gravity around you, is a task that can never be outsourced. What the gravity model shows us is how personal this is. The gravity is around you. And if we believe, and we should do, that people like to deal with people, then it becomes obvious you have to be that one person that people want to do business with. The aim of working on your gravity, and this would normally take about 18 months to get there, but the aim is that you would dominate the market. You'd be the market expert, the business advocate, the person who's always at the center of things. But the very best gravity practitioners, those that are excellent at working it, take it even further. They become the person that sets the agenda if we said, what does good look like in that market, we'd point to them. The final benefit is that your market actually grows bigger. There's more market to work. That's what the final version would look like. 
it would see you as the central person in that marketplace. If something's exciting, you'll be part of it. You're high value, you're recognised internally and externally. You've got a good reputation and high visibility and that's drawing in the very best colleagues and collaborators who want to work with you. It's also bringing in the highest value customers. And that means not just a full diary, but a diary that's full of first class meetings and opportunity. A diary that almost fills itself. Now any competitors in that market, they're going to have to work extra hard even to get on the same playing field as you. There's one final point that a really important point worth making about the gravity model. So far, we've assumed that you've got a story worth telling, that you're creating gravity around a good message. Now you can try and cheat that if you want. You could aim to just be seen, to just be visible, to be a character about the business, to have people talking about you. But if you can't back that up, if you haven't got good reputation, if you haven't got performance, if you haven't got integrity, you're just one of those characters that goes around talking but not doing. All that hot air, it makes you big, it makes you visible, but it's never going to dent the market and it's not going to raise your bottom line.